I am tall. You are tall. She is angry. Hello everyone, my name is Spencer from Cake English. Today you will learn how to use the be verb in the present tense when the subject is the first person, I, second person singular, you, or third person singular, he, she, or a person's name. It's very easy. Are you ready? Before we talk about the be verb, it's important to know a few words related to English grammar. I will use a simple sentence as an example. She throws a red ball. She is the subject. The subject is the person, place, thing, or idea that is doing or being. She is also what's called a pronoun. A pronoun replaces nouns like people's names or the names of things. Throw is a verb. A verb describes an action, state, or happening. Without a verb, you cannot make a sentence. A is an article. There are three articles in English. A, an, and the. We need a or an in front of general singular nouns and the in front of specific singular or plural nouns. Red is an adjective. An adjective describes a noun. It gives us information about color, size, shape, and so on. Ball is the object of the sentence. It is receiving the action throw. It's also a noun. A noun is any word for people, places, or things. Be is a very important irregular verb in English. That means you need to memorize the different forms of the verb because it changes depending on the subject and tense. You can use it to give information about your job feelings, identity, and physical characteristics or personality. It is followed by an adjective or a noun. In the present tense, if the subject is the first person I, it becomes M. I am. To make your English more natural, use the contraction I'm. Let's practice. Listen to the question and example answer. Try to answer the questions with your own information. What's your name? I am Spencer. I'm Spencer. Now it's your turn. What's your name? What's your nationality? I am American. I'm American. I am Korean. I'm Korean. I am Chinese. I'm Chinese. What's your nationality? What do you do? I am a teacher. I'm a teacher. I am an accountant. I'm an accountant. I am an engineer. I'm an engineer. Use N before words that start with a vowel sound like accountant. An accountant. You try. What do you do? In the present tense, if the subject is the second person singular, you, then it becomes are. You are. To make your English more natural, use the contraction, your. Let's practice. Listen to the speaker give personal information. Change I am to you are and try to complete the sentences. I am 34. You are 34. You're 34. Or, you are in your 30s. You're in your 30s. I am 25. Right. You are 25. You're 25. Or, you are in your 20s. You're in your 20s. I am 40. You got it. You are 40. You're 40. Or, you are in your 40s. You're in your 40s. I am excited. 
You are excited. You're excited. I am scared. You are scared. You're scared. I am bored. Great. You are bored. You're bored. I'm funny. The correct answer is you are funny. You're funny. I'm kind. You are kind. You're kind. I'm smart. Nice. You are smart. You're smart. In the present tense, if the subject is the third person singular, he or she, then it becomes is. He is, she is. To make your English more natural, use the contraction he's, she's. Remember that he and she replace the man or woman's name. So you can also say name is or shorten it to the name and apostrophe S. Let's practice. Look at the picture and keywords and answer the questions using the keywords. What's his name? Right, he is Steve or he's Steve. What does he look like? Right, he is short. He's short. Or, Steve is short. Steve's short. What's his job? Great, he is an engineer. He's an engineer. Or, Steve is an engineer. Steve's an engineer. What kind of personality does he have? Excellent. He is outgoing. He's outgoing. Steve is outgoing. Steve's outgoing. How about one more person? Last practice. Look at the picture and keywords and answer the questions using the keywords. What's her name? Right, she is Sally, or she's Sally. What is her nationality? Nice, she is Canadian. She's Canadian, or Sally is Canadian. Sally's Canadian. What's her job? Great, she is a marketer. She's a marketer. Or, Sally is a marketer. Sally's a marketer. What does she look like? Right, she is pretty. She's pretty. Or, Sally is pretty. Sally's pretty. Now you know how to use the be verb in the present tense with I, you, and he, she, or a person's name. Try making your own sentences and remember that practice makes perfect. Bye. Download Cake now and improve your English. If you are interested in learning English more easily, check out the classes feature on the Cake app. You'll see all the lectures, learn through real video clips, practice your speaking and take quizzes step by step. It will help you improve your English in a fun and easy way. And I'll see you next time. Bye.